Hello again. Uh, so I came back with uh, two games. Uh, the first one is the game between the five dance, uh, and it is the first round, uh, Ego Congress. And uh, the second game is between five cues, and that is the third round game. Okay. The first game is between Vagmandu and Maxel. Uh, Maxel. Uh, I chose this game. Is it? Uh, is he the Cage's legend? Okay, because he is one of my students that he joined uh, from the last season, so he's quite new. And I saw only five of his games, but his playing style is quite uh, clear. So I got to know his, you know, style of play. But anyway, I chose this game, and the second one is the one that I got it from the. Uh, Organizers. So I don't know that those two players, Latios Fighter and uh, uh, Chris1634. Okay. That two games will be reviewed. Is it you? <laughs> uh, Latios Fighter. Is it you? <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to review your game. <laughs> so the first one, uh, it's the yeah, free review. Uh, it's the game between uh, Vekmandu. And Max, Maxo, no. oh, you can see, okay, great. So black is Maxo and white is Vekmandu, let's check it. Uh, Vekmandu, many, uh, his playing style is quite wild style. Uh, when I see the players, then there are two, you know, two big categories, the territorial type and the technical type, like a technician you know, or fighter, or the territory type or point collector. So uh, there are some people in between, of course, but mostly when I see that I have the two different uh, categories, it's because you know the goal strength is consist um, consistent with the technical part and the territorial part of goal. And if you study alone, then uh, you just follow your instinct, you know, your natural goal instinct, and uh, you you become. Uh, very aggressive and technical fighting you know, type player, or become the you know theoretical car or point collecting style go player. And the problem is that if you only have one style of play, then you cannot improve. Uh, you will you will improve, but at some point you will stop and cannot move on. So, for instance, when I was young, I was in Insei, Korean Insei, Yongguseng, and uh, I have changed my uh, style of play so many times. And each time when I change my style of play, I did not intend it, but uh, each time I switch, switch, you know, change my style of play, I discovered a new part of goal. So I, you know, discover and then not really mastered, but okay, get enough information and then switch to another one. For instance, I was like extreme point collector. Then later, I really focused on the thickness. And after that, I changed it to the very aggressive type player. And then I came back to the point collecting style, something like this. So you discover all the parts and your oh, ability is really well balanced in that way. But most of the uh, goal players uh, in Europe, uh, America, and uh, Asia as well, uh, that they study alone, they just do what they want to do, is it? So they make all the uh, all the time the same approach. Uh, I play like this, you know. So I just play like that all the time. Just follow their feeling. But you should know that it is so important to discover your style of play first and try to overcome your style of play. Then uh, that's the way how you can reorganize the go resources what you have. So even without taking more abilities, like you take the reading ability or get more knowledge ability or theory ability, uh, if you get it, then of course you become stronger. But I believe that many of you have enough resources but cannot rearrange this, so cannot improve. So that's what I do. So for instance, how dare you take it from my attack? <laughs> okay. So here, white's turn, uh, black attached and hane. Uh, in general, white plays atari and then connect. Right? This is the, the number one uh, often played pattern, right? But instead of this one, white player, uh, Vekmandu, who is my one of my students, 
choose this option, which is unusual. You can play, but it doesn't come in this position. Okay. What does that mean in this position? In this position, normally white doesn't play here. In this position means that when white doesn't have a good backup here, so there is a black stone. So even if I cut and take outside, I cannot expect a big uh, influence because it's already limited. And especially if black can connect directly to move it uh, like this, then white group is separated the two groups. So it's considered as a bit you know difficult for white to handle. So that's why it doesn't come. But aggressive type players they don't hesitate to play like that. And often the aggressive type players, they don't mind on the small points. Look at the corner. Black hands about like eight points, nine points. So okay, eight, nine, who cares? Because I'm going to make like 30 or 50 at once like this. Then uh, you don't mind. But that type players really need to mind on small points. Okay, okay wise knight move, possible. And why play here? But that is quite a slack move. But why need to? Because black came here. In case white doesn't, then black can connect. If black connects and jump, then that white three stones doesn't have nice extend, uh, extending points. So it'll be tough. By the way, so in this position, why could have played this one? Do you think that it is a good move or not a good move? According to the traditional theory, it is good or bad, a good move. Okay, according to the the traditional traditional way, according to the traditional way, it is bad because black can attach here and play this one. Okay. White answers this and black plays here. So this is the position that you know I learned when I was young that it is good for black. Black pressed white groups down, so white lost you know potential. And black has nice potential. So even though white played here, it is good for black. That's what I learned. But AI says something different. So AI says that it is good for uh, white. Okay. But it should be like this. Why should play this one? Like a mouse. So then it is uh, you know, considered as a good result for white. So instead of this attach and extension or here, black plays harness. In this position, I think white can fight. Because white plays here, black to cover, but white can attach to bring it out. White has this helping stone, so it's perfect. So uh, I think black should just play knight move and let white answer here or tanuki. And there is one interesting move. Um, maybe I should tell this. After here, white need to play this one, not connect. Okay. But that looks the same, is it? That looks there's no big difference. But there is a big difference because later, white should tenuki is it? And later, what if black blocks it? Black blocks, then the corner is OK. Uh, it is OK. But uh, uh, in case black plays Han and Link, then why need an extra move to save the group? Because if I doesn't, of course, black doesn't do it now. But is there anyone who knows this? Okay? That is quite a uh, nice Tetsuji. Uh, you guys check the Tetsuji, right? So maybe have many ideas about it. Wow, good. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. A18, yes, this is the one. If I play here, then uh, if I, uh, if black plays here, white attaches, black makes the connection, so it's already a call. So why well, need to maybe attach like this? Then black can make the counter attach to do the call again, or connect and black connects it. So that kind of stuff can be very annoying. So that's why it is uh, you know, like here, then black plays Hane, like this. So that is annoying. That's why white should be ready with this one. So that's why this white move. Possible. Why plays here and then why plays this? Then it is possible. If I were white, I would have chosen this option than this one. Because after here, I need to waste my turn to play this, then I wouldn't do. White better play like that. 
and black and close. Okay, very good. Uh, white approaches, uh, extend. Okay, why well, can? But nowadays, this kind of moves doesn't come often. Okay. What kind of move is this? I mean, this kind of move. What kind of move uh, am I speaking? Mm -hmm. Side move, yes. So instead of the side friendly move, uh, you see many of corner friendly moves. Because after the AI programs, you know, we got to know that the corner is way more important than the side areas. So why the corner is more important than the side areas? We are we are so we already knew it. Is it? We knew, but before AI programs, we played many side friendly moves, even though we knew it. We knew that the corner is so big. Because uh, corner, you can get the guaranteed territory, but it's small. The side, you have nice potential, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, but uh, uh, according to the AI program, the truth of this game of Go, uh, it's more close to the small but guaranteed point, uh, according to the AI programs. So that's why this kind of moves come often, but why it didn't? And why play shoulder? Okay, why can do? But this shoulder, nowadays, you know, people do not use this shoulder uh, with the right intention as what uh, AI programs does. So why place this shoulder? Why? Why do you think that why place this? AI programs shows many of these kind of shoulders. It's not because uh, extent of the group, yes, like, like this one. Why did it? Why play like that? This was the actual game. But uh, why only focused on the, the middle? But black can even jump. So I don't think that it was good. Because why couldn't get any point? To press down, yes. And there's one more reason. Proof, yes. Uh -huh. Because after shoulder, black has two options, like A or B. Black could have answered B. So if black plays this A, then it means that black close one door, but open another door. There's no way to close two doors at once. So black opened one door. Where's the door? Can you see the door here? R4 door, okay, around that area. Yes. Why it exchanges this one in order to prepare this invasion? It's like having good exchange to invade. In case, Black attaches wide extent, so okay. So normally black attaches like that. Right? Then white may step in or wedge to have this position. Now you see that this exchange helps, right? Like that kind of cutting point where I can aim it. The best way must be this one, and then cut like this. It can be very annoying because in case black answers here to save the weakness, white can go. To cut, that's great, is it? That the uh, well, black's group is being cut. So after here, if black answers, why can play this one? It, uh, so in this case, you know, AB is a very good exchange. So if you play here, then you should use this for opening the door. Uh, for instance, let's go back to like this position. Uh, if this kind of position comes. Uh, like this, white approaches. Then if white plays here and black answers, it doesn't mean that white wants to jump. How should white continue this position? If you are the big fan of pros games, then probably you guys know it. R15, yes, this one. Uh, white attaches and play here. Uh, that position comes quite often. So. The AI programs and professional players, they use this shoulder as a probe. Probe, asking, would you answer A or would you answer B? If you answer A, then this part, uh, or who, who will this part become stronger? But the other part is open. So you close the, the right side door, but you open the left side door, uh, upper, upper side door like that. 
Ah, if you tenuki from the show light, then the block must be painful, this one. That's why it you know, completely blocked this, and even the corner is still not you know, uh, uh, secure yet. Or, for instance, I can attach here and extend to block. That's quite nice. So please use this show light as a probe. If black plays this one, then upper side door is closed, but the right side door is open like that. Okay, so that is the way. But actual game, why play this shoulder and why just continue? Then uh, why cannot get enough points here? And uh, you know, black takes sente. Uh, uh, it was, I have to say, pointless move. Why spend the turn? But why couldn't get the point, but you see that white kept focusing on the outside while the time black collect points. So the game was good for black, black was leading. So this is the typical the aggressive type player's mistakes that they don't mind on small points, but instead uh, keep making, you know, outside world nice influence to, to look for jackpot. Part. But uh, sometimes, you know, it's working, but in many cases, it's not working. And why divide here? Uh, why can divide? But that is also a bit, um, say, not the right one, because that pincer means that white wants to aim this black's two stones. Okay? Otherwise, white wouldn't play here. Of course, white invade to the upper side to erase this area, but that area wasn't big. But the main reason must be sort of attack. A black disattach uh, can be quite easy uh, for black to make the clear connection. So that is also easy uh, for black to make the connection. So maybe black can start from this one, even the ladder is working. Did not check the ladder. Uh, it looks ladder is even working. Mm -hmm. okay. Black exchanges. And cover black and cover kept once, but at some point black had to attach here. So at this point the game was favorable for black. So how can I say that the game is good for black? Wait, what did white wrong? White did wrong because white didn't collect points. So the territory of balance is broken, uh, and this territory of balance once it is broken, then you may feel in hurry uh, that oh I'm behind like this. And you feel desperate, and it brings overplays. And that is the, uh, the aggressive type player's bad pattern. Sometimes, you know, that uh, aggressive style works well, but in many cases, it's not working in this way. Yeah, get behind by points, feels in a hurry, overplays like this. But black played a bit mm, has to believe. Uh, so, mm, black played a bit passively and jump. Black just focused on making connections, but black had to jump to erase the middle. Uh, but black played here, so white got a chance. Wedge and link and jump is also quite slack one. Black had to extend the head of two stones. Black had to protect it. But black played it too passively. So now we see the mark, mark zone, mm -hmm, the black player's. Uh, mistake uh, that maybe he is a calm type player and he knew that he was leading by point. So his moves got paralyzed. And oh, okay, I'm leading the game and my opponent is trying to attack me. So let me just save the group like that. But while the time, why use a bunch of center moves and the middle turns as wise? That was quite big. So I can say that why got a chance. And then maybe Black feels in hurry. Black played this one. But black had to answer here. That's unusual move. So first, why saves the group? And when black plays here, why had to play Hane? Uh, because it is, you know, uh, the point move that why can just yam yam like this. Uh, if I uh, uh, mind about this guaranteed point, I'm sure that he would have played. But instead, okay, invasion is in fact okay. And white played here because uh, he, he wanted to 
uh, play the move that he studied. You know, I, I informed about this move uh, some weeks ago. Where he tried to use it, but it was not the right case. Well, I had to extend. If I extend, then I can easily uh, have a uh, you know, tough situation for black, right? The invasion was quite uh, nice. So black had to defend this early on, was necessary. And why invade and why had to extend, but this was a mistake. So, okay, why gain points, but why couldn't crash this area? Anyway, why save this group in Sente? So, why reverse the game? So, why is leading? Uh, why should have noticed that why uh, takes the, the lead back? But, you know, if you are leading the game, which part do you need to look? There are only two sides. Uh, black side, white side, and let's say you're white, you're leading, then you should look white side. You should focus more on white side. And you are white, you're behind, and you should look more to black side, like that. But white was leading, but uh, maybe white thought that white is still behind. Because white focused too much on attacking this group. Uh, if I were white, I wouldn't play like this, but go smoothly like that. Okay, I'm threatening your group, so please just connect. And while you're connecting, I cut the one stone and I you know, win the game, something like that. But white tries too much like this, so it can weaken another group. So white got a chance to grab this, but in fact, black can still go like this. So too much. Black's connection is also a bit slack. Black shouldn't do. Black may cut, that is big, or what else? Not this connection, it's too, too slack. And Black's this one, okay, Black endured. And White played here. So White is keep giving pressure to, to Black, we can see. But, uh, but it's too much, too much. And here, White, White uh, feels so so good, I suppose, at this point. That white just keep giving pressure. But at this point, black may cut here because this cutting point aims many weaknesses, right? Maybe white need an answer if I wants to uh, keep cutting this group. And black can block. If black blocks and across attached, then this white whole group is also weak. That that whole group. Black can play here, but this one, black can go down to make the connection. Black can make the connection underneath like that. So to kill, to attack this kind of group isn't easy, and it is risky. So when black is leading, white is leading, white shouldn't try this. But white tried, and black accepted. Therefore, after white takes this nice thickness, uh, the game becomes really good for white. So this game, white won, uh, because White uh, kept making overplays and Black just accepted. White didn't notice that White is doing uh, making overplays. So he, in this case as well, when Black plays this, if I were White, I wouldn't play here, but would focus on saving my area because I have enough points. But instead, White just kept looking for opponent's area and it wasn't working. Black can just connect, all connected. Like, like this one. Okay. So I had to play like that. Oh, maybe I can play here. Oh, that is a nice Tetsuji. Oh, that is working. Okay, so it was <laughs> more complicated than what I thought. Then Black had to extend. If Black extended, then there was no big deal. After Y's Hane, which was a good move, I got a chance to cut and uh, won this game by many points. Because it's like the exchange of this A and B, uh, which black and uh, white took a lot more points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so uh, white was ahead, but again, you know, when black plays this one, white attach it, white attach it here to cut. But why shouldn't? If I just answers maybe just this much, what was leading a lot? But white played here. So black cut and then cut, and there was a you know, life and death situation. It doesn't mean that it was 
really bad for why. But, you know, the things become complicated. That complex situation came not from black, from white. White tried to do many things, therefore this kind of situation came. But nothing happened. Uh, actual game, why uses only this cost spread and capture? But it was smaller than this, of course. But still, uh, why was ahead by enough points, so I won the game. But you no, know, it, it can change uh, the game. So like that, uh, uh, if you play, let's say, like 10 mistakes in your game, then uh, in my experience that I check like uh, about 3,000 games per year, most of the mistakes what you make are connected to your style of play. Your style of play makes mistakes. If you're the aggressive type player, then you play many overplaying mistakes. If you're the calm type player, then you make lots of uh, black move mistakes like that. So it is because I believe that um, uh, you have two arms and one arm is so strong. Let's say the right arm is so strong because you train a lot and natural, naturally, you know, you're born that the right hand is much stronger than the left. And you just train with the right hand or only use the right hand. But then the left hand, uh, left arm isn't really you know, a good trade. Then let's say you you went to you you go to the fight. Then you can use the the right arm, of course, but the left arm sometimes you need to use it, and you cannot use it. Okay. So if you want to become a better player, better fighter, then which arm do you need to uh, focus on studying? That's quite an easy question, right? You need to focus on the weaker one because you need to use both hands, both arms. Otherwise. No, it's not easy to become a good, uh, good fighter, let's say. And the goal as well, you need to use the technical part and the territory part both. But you just get used to it. And there, there is, you know, goal players is like a slave of the habit, right? So you only use the muscles that you use it. So just using the same one again, again, again like that. So then you can improve that a bit, but you cannot. Uh, uh, overcome the, uh, the crisis that you face. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to use another muscle. And if you use another muscle that you don't use it or never used, then you can train that. And that is the right way. So that's why it is very important to discover your style of play. Uh, many people came to me uh, before joining my online go school and explain that, oh, I'm good at this part, I'm bad at this part, so I'm that type of player, so I think I need to focus on this part, something like that. And I, later when I see his games, that is completely different than what I think. Okay. So they have so much fixed ideas on the board, but also at the same time off the board as well. Uh, I'm the aggressive type player like this, and then came, but in fact, he was a very calm player, like this. In his point of view, was aggressive, but it was not from the absolute point of view, like this. So it is very important to know your style of play, which you know, got conformed by strong players. And after you got to know it, then you should try to overcome it. So when you, you know, play the ego congress, let's say, then, you're not facing your opponent to win, to overcome. You're facing yourself to overcome. If you overcome your style of play, you become stronger because you got a chance, you got a ticket to reorganize your goal resources if you overcome it. But that is quite difficult. It's really like a gravity. that It's so, so natural. I play A because I think you know, A is good, something like that. But... Uh, uh, when you think about A first, then you should check B and C, two, two more options at least, and compare them. In that way, uh, you can become stronger. <laughs> the clock, yes, Birmi, you know. The goal players really hate Birmi, right? Okay, anyway, so this game, from the beginning till the end, why kept playing in an aggressive way? 
So I didn't care about points, but focus on the, the middle. But it, it worked because Black played passively, gave the head of two stones and this huge area. So I got a chance. And that invasion, okay, was not a great success, but succeed. So White was clearly leading the game, but White tried so many things. So Black got a chance to make things complicated. Black had to cut like this. Especially when White plays like this one, Black had to block here uh, to, and say that, okay, you want to kill me? So kill me, I will try to kill you like this. Uh, if Black goes in this way, it should be way more annoying for White. So White didn't need to have this option. But uh, Black just accepted, so White gets thicker uh, thickness and get even the middle group. So White won the game.